I'll tell you what, Katie. Come on, join me. What, what a, a day, day, what a day, what a, day, what a mighty, mighty fine day. day. No question about it. We had a few midday clouds. That was about it. Sun to start, certainly an abundance of sunshine to finish. Here's a live look from our Waukesha County Tower Camp as we look toward Pewaukee. And look at the tree line there. Just beautiful as we are now at peak across southeastern Wisconsin. If you're looking to go for a nice ride and look at the leaves, tomorrow could be the perfect day if you didn't get it done today. Not a cloud to be seen outside, and it's going to lead to a starry sky tonight and a sunny start to our Sunday. That tops your weather headlines. There will be more clouds that roll in second half of the day, so if you have outdoor activities to get done or you just want to play outside, first half of the day going to be better than the second. A brief big bump in temperatures coming our way again tomorrow before we get a double dip behind the next storm system. Outside right now, across southeastern Wisconsin, either side of 60 degrees. It's 60 on the nose for you fine folks joining us in Watertown, 58 in Beaver Dam, 60 in Fond du Lac, 57 in Waukesha, also in West Bend, and 61 degrees, our new high of the day, officially at Milwaukee's Mitchell International. This is a graphic I like to show when we have a big difference one day to the next. This is our 24-hour temperature change. Look how much of a difference just a day has made. We are anywhere between 10 and 15 degrees warmer compared to where we were yesterday at this time. Meantime, one of the big reasons, a nice southwesterly breeze, it's been sustained at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, will diminish to near calm conditions overnight tonight. As we widen out the view, we are not alone enjoying this nice warm air mass. 71 degrees right now in Des Moines, 73 in Omaha, 78 degrees as we approach Halloween in Wichita, Kansas, and 70 in KC. I don't know that we touched 70, but the climb will continue for us tomorrow as we get toward uh, 65 degrees, mid 60s is going to be common around here tomorrow. Satellite and radar combination showing an abundance of clear skies extending all the way from the western Great Lakes south through the mid Mississippi Valley and actually all the way down to the Gulf Coast courtesy of a big ridge of high pressure which is down to our south pumping up that nice warm air on a southerly flow. Now we've got starry skies courtesy of that high for tonight. This disturbance up to our northwest is going to move on by. And clouds will be arriving late tomorrow. I think most of us stay dry. But we'll show you future forecast because there's a hint of maybe a little bit of lighter precipitation that develops again clear tonight and for the start of Sunday 7 a.m. You get ready to get up, go to breakfast, brunch or church and you should enjoy calm conditions as we go into the afternoon as that disturbance approaches. There could be a stray shower or two toward the evening hours. Again, not going to be a big deal whatsoever. So your storm team forecast for the balance of the night tonight. Starry skies. Nice night to go for a walk with your sweetie. Mainly clear and mild down to near 42. For tomorrow, we start with an abundance of sunshine. We'll finish with partly cloudy skies. A stray shower again, mainly north of Milwaukee toward evening. Otherwise warmer up to the mid 60s. Enjoy that. Maybe the warmest we are for quite some time. Over the next seven days, you can see our temperatures dipping back down to near 50 degrees on Wednesday. Next best chance of rain coming our way Tuesday night into Wednesday. It should wrap up Wednesday night into Thursday morning when we dry back out and see our temperatures bump back up to near 60 degrees on Friday. So the roller coaster ride is going on over the next week. Unfortunately, the overall trend, Katie, appears to be downward, which is what you'd expect this time of year in Wisconsin. That's right. All right. Thanks, Scott. You bet.